Hi everyone, this is the first video in algebra series. We are covering section 10.1, the four basic operations. So the first question we are going to cover today is 12 plus 31 times 63 minus 29 over 59 minus 16. So the main concept of this question is we need to evaluate the expression inside the parentheses first and then do the division and multiplication. So first parentheses is 12 plus 31 which is equal to 43. The second parenthesis is 63 minus 29, which is equal to 34. And the third parenthesis is 59 minus 16, which is again equal to 43. Right now, I'm going to rewrite my expression in this form. 43 times 34 divided by 43 again. As you can see, we have 43 in numerator and denominator. So we can simplify this 43 and our final answer is going to be 34. So again, we need to evaluate the expression inside the parentheses first and then move on to next operations. The second question that we are going to cover today is regarding the powers. So as you can see, we have 2 to power of 4 to power of 3 times 2 to power of 2 to power of 4. The whole thing divided by negative 2 to power of 15 times 2 to power of 3. So I need to mention a couple useful hints. The first one, when we are multiplying two numbers with the same base. For example, we have a to power of b times a to power of c. Since they have the same base, which is a, we can add the powers together. And a times a to power of b times a to power of c is equal to a to power of b plus c. And almost the same thing for division when we have a to power of b divided by a to power of c. Again, pay close attention to the bases. a to power of b and a to power of c. They both have the same base which is a. So we can simply write it as a to power of b minus c. The third thing that I'm going to mention today uh, for this question is whenever you have a to power of b and then the whole thing to power of c, you can treat this one as a to power of b times c. And if you think about it, this formula comes from the definition of power a to power of b, it means a times a times a times a and you know if you add all these a's they are equal to b so that's why we write a to power of b so imagine a to power of b is equal to alpha we can rewrite this equation as alpha to power of c which gives us this expression and there is another useful hint that I can mention right here 
every time the negative number is going to be multiplied by itself for example negative 2 to power of 15 it means we are multiplying negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 15 times as you can see the power is an odd number so it means the negative comes out of the parentheses and stays but if the power is an even number the negative goes away because simply negative 1 times negative 1 equals plus 1 and as you see right here negative 1 to power of 2 is equal negative 1 times negative 1 equals 1 so after these three basically these four hints let's go and try to solve that question the first part is 2 to power of 4 to power of 3 we can simply write that one as 2 to power of 12 times the second one 2 to power of 2 to power of 4 which is 2 to power of 8 and we can simply use the first formula to write this one as 2 to power of 20 which is 12 plus 8 now let's go to the denominator as you see negative 2 to power of 15 so negative stays which is negative times 2 to power of 15 times 2 to power of 3 again I'm using the first formula this is a really useful formula is negative 2 to power of 18 so right now I'm going to simplify my expression one more time right now I'm going to use this hint the division hint so 2 to power of 20 divided by 2 to power of 18 gives me 2 to power of 20 minus 18 and as you see I have a negative right here so I put my negative right here which is negative 2 to power of 2 again pay attention this negative it's not in the parentheses so it stays which is equal to negative 4 that's my final answer let's go over it one more time really quick when we are adding the powers it means they have the same base and they are multiplying by each other when we are deducting the powers it means again they have the same base but we are dividing the first number by, number by the second one and when we have parentheses we can simply multiply the powers and write it as a to power of b times c so let's move on to the last question for this lecture I'm going to simplify this expression x to power of 2 over 4a minus 2 to power of y 2y excuse me 2y divided by 3b so the important thing right here is realize we need to make the common denominator because 4a is not equal to 3b so my common denominator is equal to 4a times 3b which is equal to 12 times ab I'm gonna give you a real quick hint right here when I have a over b times 1 this is equal a over b and we know that c over c as long as c is not equal to 0 equals to 1 is that right so I can replace this one with C over C which is A times C 
over B times C is equal to A over B. And as you see, I can simplify C right here. So in common denominator and in addition or subtraction of fractions, this is the main concept that we are going to use. We have the common denominator right here. So I write my common denominator for both fraction. 12AB, 12AB. The first one is 4A. Here is 12AB. I multiplied the denominator by 3B. So I need to multiply the numerator by 3B as well. So it's going to be 3B x squared. The second fraction, this denominator is 3B, here is 12AB. What do I need to do? Multiply the numerator by 4A. So this is 4A times 2Y. And as you see right here, I have the same denominator. So what does it mean? I can simply subtract the numerator, which is 12 a b 3 b x squared minus I simplify this expression 8 a y so that's it for today you guys can check out the first comment I'm gonna put a link of our Google Drive account which has a bunch of other notes and questions and different topics that you can, you know, take a look at it. And our email is learnmathfastonline at gmail.com. Feel free to email us if you have any questions. We're going to solve it and post it on this YouTube channel. So that's it for today. Have a good one.